Pakistan is planning a royal welcome for Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Pakistan and Saudi Arabia have long been allies. But this is the first visit for the Crown Prince since he became heir to the throne. They are our old friends and their policies are in favor of Pakistan. They will increase their wealth by investing in Pakistan. This is useless for our people. Prime Minister Imran Khan wants to make a good impression. Prime Minister Khan is looking two things. One is that bailout package for his government in the current economic crisis. Second is foreign direct investment. Khan's overture comes as much of the world has either shunned, criticized, or chosen to keep an arm's length from the crown prince. Both Turkish and American security agencies have concluded that Mohammed bin Salman ordered the murder of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi. The veteran journalist was killed and dismembered inside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul last October. Khan, just two months into his tenure, never joined the global chorus of outrage against the kingdom and the prince. Later that month, he was one of a few leaders to attend a financial summit in Saudi Arabia, a pet project of bin Salman intended to elevate the country's image and promote foreign investment. There will be no political cost for him domestically. For him, at the moment, it's not important what the world is thinking. The Crown Prince plans to show his appreciation by injecting billions of dollars into Pakistan's economy. Since the 9-11 attacks, Pakistan has been viewed as a vital player in combating armed groups and maintaining regional security, but overlooked when it comes to foreign investment. Prime Minister Khan is banking on the fact that where Saudi money is invested, other countries might follow. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera.